What up, Modus? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on double standards when it comes to dating and relationships. And this video is going to be a get ready with me video. In other words, I will be speaking and giving my thoughts on this subject while creating this makeup look. So, um, some of you guys have suggested that I start doing some of these get ready with me style videos where I'm doing my makeup while talking about a subject. So I definitely want to start incorporating that a little more so I don't always have to make like a separate makeup video and a separate talking video. Even though I mean I still will do that but I want to do some of these too. So if you all uh, would like to hear my thoughts on this subject and watch me beat this face or you cannot watch what I'm doing to my face if you don't care and just listen. Either way just keep on watching. Okay, so please excuse the uh, dark circles under my eyes, y'all. I need to see better. But for those of you that are following the makeup, I'm using the Tassi Beauty palette again. And I'm going to be using mainly these colors over here. Okay, so when it comes to relationships and dating in general, I think we all know there's a lot of uh, double standards. There are certain things that... Um, I think men are allowed to get away with where if women did the same thing, it would not be accepted. And, you know, the same goes vice versa. There are certain things that us women are allowed to do that if men do it or when men do it, they're like the worst thing in the world and they're just evil beings. <laughs> so in going down this list of double standards, I am going to keep it fair okay for all the men watching because again there are certain things um that i think us women do that you know y'all get a lot more crap for so um i will give the men the first one so the first thing is that women can be selective about certain physical attributes on men for example height I think most women, we're very vocal about the fact that we prefer a man that is taller than us. Um, most women don't want a guy that they have to look down to. It makes us feel weird. And um, some women say, oh, you know, they, they don't want to have to, like, you know, be looking down to their man when they wear heels. But honestly, I think it's more of like a, I don't know, like a... a instinct type of thing because I think when you think of a man that's taller than you you think of a man that can protect you you know that can kind of lean over you and just you know it's like a protection thing I think and I don't know I think there's also just like an elegance or something to a man of great stature I don't know but so we're allowed to do that it's fine it's expected that we have these sort of expectations you know when we're looking for a partner However, if men do the same thing and state a certain, you know, physical thing that they're looking for, say maybe they want women um, that are, you know, below a certain weight, you know, whatever it is that y'all guys look for, then you guys are labeled as being vain and um, or being unrealistic and you know people will you know give you guys a lot of crap for it so you know in that regards I think it is a bit of a double standard that women are allowed to be a lot more vocal about um you know what we're looking for in a guy and you guys aren't y'all are supposed to just take us as we are and say nothing about it so this first one goes to you guys now the second one is one that has been addressed since forever, but it's um, basically the thought or the, I don't know, socially uh, accepted norm, I guess you could say, that men are allowed to be a lot more free um, and casual when it comes to their intimate sexual encounters, and they get high fives for it, but if women do the same thing, you know, they're labeled as being hoes and they're, you know, slut shamed. Now, I do not in any way condone either sex hoeing around. I don't condone men sleeping around with a lot of women and I don't condone women sleeping around with a lot of men. Um, but there is definitely a double standard there. Um, it's okay for men to be promiscuous 
and but for women it's um the total opposite now i mean i know things our times have changed a little bit and um there are some people that are a bit more of you know i guess you could say progressive thinking when it comes to that but for the most part it's still very looked down on for women to be this way next is that women can yell at a guy and basically be verbally abusive to a man and men can't um women we can yell at our guy we can call them every name in the book and men are expected to just take it but if men are verbally abusive towards women then they're total monsters now i don't know if that comes from like this mentality that we had that men don't have feelings i mean not that we think that men don't have feelings but like we always think that men aren't as easily affected by words so i think maybe sometimes that makes women say harsher things to men because we think that we have to like really say some offensive crap to get in uh, a reaction out of you guys but either way i mean regardless of the, of the reason why women do it you know we shouldn't do it um, so there's definitely a double standard there. I mean, neither men or women should be verbally abusive towards their partners, especially if you really care about them. Because why would you want to do something or say something that you know is going to hurt them? Like, I don't think our aim should ever be to purposely hurt somebody that we love and care for. But again, I definitely think there is a double standard there. And it's more allowable for women to do that than it is for men to do it. The next one is that men can be strongly opinionated and they are just seen as, you know, acting according to their nature. They're just being manly. But if women are, you know, strongly opinionated and don't hold back in what they think and speak their mind, we are, you know, bees, okay, biatches. I have to be careful with what I say because YouTube will demonetize my videos. They've already demonetized a few. But yeah, so where that comes from, I mean, I don't know. I guess that just comes from women being expected to be submissive and just kind of go along with whatever their men say and not really question it or, or uh, contest what they say. But yeah, if a woman does speak her mind, and this is not in every relationship, but in some relationships, um, the women will be seen, again, as being a... Uh, a b-word and that isn't fair i think that anyone in a relationship um regardless should be able to voice their opinions and speak their mind and i don't think that you know women who speak their minds should be viewed in a negative way i don't know why i always have more trouble doing this eye than the other one but yeah that is the other double standard now the next one which is one that really irks me is that when men cheat it is mm, kind of expected that women we don't like make any rash decisions and we shouldn't break up with him right away we got to hear him out and for the most part we're you know supposed to forgive because you know maybe he just made a mistake and blah 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 and just pretty much deal with a man cheating. Whereas if a woman cheats on her man, it is the end of the world. She's the biggest hoe on earth. She is just the scum of the universe. How could she have cheated on her man like that? It's just a total double standard. And, you know, I know women cheat. And I'm not saying that women cheating isn't just as bad as men cheating but um as far as how the partner is supposed to react to the cheating i definitely think that there is a double standard i think that women are expected to be more okay with it or to learn to forgive and forget whereas you know if a man gets done wrong it's like nah you gotta cut that beat off f her let her go and yeah, I just, I don't know. I think there's a huge double standard when it comes to that. The next double standard is that men are expected to always give their women compliments, but women are not expected to do the same. Um, Now, 
partially, you know, part of that could be because, I don't know, I guess women, maybe we do seek those words of affirmation more than men do. I don't know. But that doesn't mean that, I don't know, sometimes your man doesn't want a compliment. And it, I think it's okay to give, you know, men compliments. Now, I will admit with my ex, may he rest in peace. Um, I didn't like to compliment him because I felt that he was like... I always felt like he was just so cocky and I didn't want to gas his head up even like more than what it already was. So I would like purposely not compliment him. Um, but I would definitely want him to compliment me. But even if he was that way, or if, I mean, even if he had not been that way, um, I think it would have been okay to compliment him. And I think for any woman, um, you know, we should feel okay complimenting our men. I mean, I don't think that's going to make them cocky, hopefully. And um, I think men need that uh, those words of affirmation as well. I think they need to also be reminded that, you know, when they look good, like, hey, I see you. You know, I think they also need that, you know, a little boost of confidence every now and then. And I do think that they need to know when, you know, we think that they're looking good or if they dress up nice, get a haircut, let them know that, like, hey, your haircut looks good or you're dressed nice today. You know, like, I think men sometimes try to act like they don't care about little things like that. But low key, though, some of y'all do care. Y'all do. All right. So I just primed my face with this water drop cucumber primer from Wet n Wild. And I'm now going to put foundation. This is Revlon. Color Stay Foundation in the color 400. All right, so the next double standard is that women can use ah, a man's insecurities against him, like when we're angry or whatever, but man can't do that. Men can do that with us. So this is something, I'm not gonna lie, I am guilty of doing, I am. Um, you know, when we get into arguments, I think women, sometimes we will go for the personal attacks and bring up something, I don't know, that maybe our man told us in confidence or just something that we know they're insecure about and we'll bring it up like during an argument and be like, well, that's why you this and this and that. That's why your mama don't love you. Um... That's why your junk is small, you know, stuff like that. Um, or, I mean, or stuff that's actually more serious. But, yeah, so we do that sometimes. Like I said, I've done it. And um, when we do it, we expect that, you know, the guy just take it. Um, and, you know, this could kind of go in line with, like, women being verbally abusive or yelling at their man and expecting the man to just take it. But if y'all do it back to us, it's like, whoa, whoa, now, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, if you guys use, you know, our insecurities against us, then it's like, did, what? How dare you, <laughs> you know? How dare you use my insecurities against me, even though I just did it to you? How dare you? You are the worst man alive. So there's definitely a double standard there. And I mean, I know, I don't know. I don't know if it's because maybe women, we can be a little more sensitive with certain things. So that's why we expect that you not do it back to us. But at the same time, it's like, well, we shouldn't do it to y'all either in the first place because, you know, it's not cool. And it's not, I mean, I don't think it's cool to use anybody's insecurities against them, regardless of whether you're in a relationship with them or not. Even if it's just a friend or another family member, like, stuff like that shouldn't be used against people. And it's just not right. But, yeah, women, we definitely get a pass um, with doing that way more than men do. Now, this next double standard may be more or less applicable in some cultures more than others, but it's basically the double standard that men are expected to and allowed to be more vocal um, when it comes to their physical needs and when they want intimacy more than women are. Um, women should just kind of 
you know, wait on whenever their man wants to do what they want to do. And um, you yourself as a woman can't be as vocal about when you want it, you know. And like I said, this could be more of a case in um, some cultures more than others. But, and you know, I do think this has kind of changed more. But maybe in like, I don't know, our mother's times or our grandmother's times. Um, I don't think women were expected to or it might be even kind of looked down on for women to be very vocal about her own physical needs. And um, yeah, it was just kind of expected that you just do whenever your man wants it. Um, even if you did want it, um, it would probably be seen as um, unladylike to really talk about it and to bring it up, you know? Like, women shouldn't talk about these type of things. You just, you know, do it when your man wants it or whenever, you know, it's time to make a baby and stuff like that. So, um, I think times have definitely changed in that regard. And I don't know, I would say, I don't know, maybe men these days appreciate it more when women are more vocal about, you know, when they want it. But in some cases, I do think there is more of a double standard. Um... But then on the flip side, um, I think women are allowed to say no, you know, when they're not in the mood. And I guess you could even say they're known for saying no. Um, but men are not allowed to say no. Like if a woman wants to, but a guy really, really doesn't want to. Um, I think women take a lot more offense to that. Like, wait, what do you mean you don't want to? Like, what's wrong? Is something wrong with me? Like, are you cheating on me? Like, why wouldn't you want to sleep with me? You know, stuff like that. And um, it's like, what's wrong with you as a man if you say no? When for whatever reason, you might just not really want to. So there's definitely double standards there in both those situations. Okay, now the next double standard is when it comes to jealousy. Um, I don't think it's good for either sex to be overly jealous. I mean, a little bit, it's, I think it's okay here and there, you know, just to let your partner know, like, hey, you know, I don't like all these girls talking to you. I don't like all these guys talking to you, depending on the situation. Um, but I think there's a double standard in that it's expected or more... Um, I guess allowed for women to display jealousy even if the guy finds it annoying but you know we'll just get written off as being crazy and you know whatever <laughs> the guy may deal with it but it won't be like that big a deal unless the woman is like I don't know acting on it and doing some crazy stuff but yeah for the most part it's just like oops um yeah she crazy but you know guy deals with it but if a man is like very jealous then it goes into oh he's possessive and um potentially harmful and he might you know do something and act out on his jealousy and you know it's just um the men get seen in a very different light when they are labeled as being jealous um and yeah it's like they're not allowed to display those type of feelings even if the feelings are valid um if, you know, a guy, I don't know, say you're out at a bar or something and you as a man see another man trying to step to your woman and you may display some jealous behavior, um, I think, you know, that is a normal response. But um, to someone else, it may seem like, oh, you're being possessive. Like, she's not doing anything. Um, just let the guy talk to her. But it's like, no, that's my woman. Um, and best believe, I mean, most women in those situations, they'd be like, oh, girl, back up. That's my man. Like, what do you do? Why are you trying to talk to my man? Um, and nobody will say much about it. But yeah, if a guy does it, oh, he's being possessive and stuff like that. So definitely think that's another double standard there as well. Okay, the next double standard. When a man complains about something in a relationship, you better listen because it is a serious complaint. This man wouldn't just be complaining for no reason if he's complaining about something going on or about something you're doing pay attention but if a woman complains about something because you know women are always complaining about something we're just being dramatic um it's not really worth something paying attention to because we're probably going to be complaining about the next thing within the next five minutes so 
definitely a double standard there where, you know, even if, say, we do statistically complain about things more than a man does, it doesn't mean that many of our complaints are not valid. And I don't think that a man's complaints should be seen as being more serious than a woman's complaints. Um, Because there just may be certain things that we pay more attention to that if not done correctly or if man isn't um, paying as much attention to something as we would like for him to pay attention to, you know, we might say something about it. And um, it's not everything is about being dramatic. I think... Um, I mean, people in on either side, man or woman, I mean, I think you should also use your judgments and um, be able to decide, okay, is this really, uh, is this a valid complaint or is this person being dramatic? Because it's not like men can't be dramatic about stuff too. So, yeah, it seems like for a lot of things, it's just easier to call women as being... I don't know, either just label us as crazy, label us as being dramatic, label us as just wanting attention, and um, that ain't right. All right, the next one is that when a girl breaks up with a guy, um, she is, in most cases, applauded for it. Regardless of what was really the case um, or whose fault it really was, you know, we're applauded for it. Um, we're just looked at as, you know, exercising our right to be with a man that truly deserves us and that blah, blah, blah. You know, um, girls would be like, yeah, girl, it's time you let that man go, blah, blah, blah. But when a guy breaks up with a girl, regardless of the reason, a lot of times he'll get labeled as, oh, he's not ready for commitment. And people might not be as willing to hear his side of the story or if he does give his side of the story, he'll be labeled as just making excuses. You probably weren't even that serious about her. If he makes complaints about her, oh, it's probably you just trying to cover up whatever crap you were really doing. So I do think there's definitely a double standard when it comes to that. Um, because so many times, I mean, in this dating world, I mean, we do come across so many guys that really were not ready to settle down and were not ready to be in a serious relationship. And so they kind of mess it up for the good guys that maybe, you know, they did really take their relationship seriously, but for whatever reason, it didn't work out. And so when they break up with the girl, it's like, oh, you ain't shit. You broke up with her probably because you weren't ready to commit. So double standard. Now, the next double standard is that when a woman gets upset with a guy, it's all the guy's fault. <laughs> we never do anything wrong. We always like to be right. If I'm mad at you, it's because you did something to make me mad. But if a guy gets mad for whatever reason, he needs to control his anger and stop Stop being mad. Like, why are you mad? Like, chill out. So, uh, there is a bit of a double standard there. Um, we don't give men sometimes that same liberty to be like, well, maybe you just did something messed up. Maybe you were actually wrong. And um, my being mad at you is actually valid. And it's not just me, I don't know, tripping. So, yeah, I think in some cases, when us women do something wrong, it's kind of hard for us to admit it. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's hard for us to sometimes swallow our pride in those situations and to be like, okay, fine, I messed up. Um, you might have a point. Okay, you might be right in being mad at me or whatever. So, um, but yeah, but if it's all the way around and you make me mad, oh, best believe I'm going to let you know. You did something wrong. So, double standard. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go back to my eyes and put this matte black here. Okay, so I have one more left to say. And I have to do my lips, so... Hmm, I don't think I can talk and do my lips at the same time. So let me just do my lips real quick. I'm just going to line it with this lip liner from Jordana Cosmetics. All 
All right, and now I'm gonna use this uh, liquid cat suit, liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild in the color Rebel Rose. All right, everyone, here is the finished look. I love glitter. I love glitter. Anyway, so for the last um, double standard, so this one can actually go either way. Um, I think some people believe that men are basically allowed to have a lot of friends, they're allowed to go out and hang out with their friends, and they're allowed to have female friends and, you know, their girls should just accept it and be cool with it. They should be able to go out as much as they want and their girl be cool with it. And they should be able to have female friends and their girl be cool with it. But if their girl goes out a lot, it's a problem. If their girl has a lot of male friends, then the man sometimes feels threatened. And they question, why do you have all these guy friends? So... That is one double standard. However, sometimes I see it the other way around where some people feel like, you know, women are allowed to, you know, have their friends and go out and do this and that. And um, the guy is expected to not really question them when they're with their girls, like where they're going, where you at, texting them when you're coming home, stuff like that. But if the guy goes out with his boys, he's not allowed that same freedom. The girl is allowed or expected to be texting him and asking where you're at, where you're coming home. Send me a picture, FaceTime me because I need to prove you're at, where you're saying you're at, and all that type of stuff. So when it comes with the friend situation, it definitely goes both ways. I, myself, like with my ex, I would be, I would be bothered when he would go out a lot with his guy friends. Like, I definitely would. I'd be like, why are you always going to hang out with your friends? And when he'd go out, I would be the type to be texting and calling where you at. But that's also because I low-key didn't trust him. But that's a whole other story. But if it's me and I was to go out, I wouldn't want him blowing my phone up. I wouldn't want him calling me and asking me where you at and stuff like that. I mean, he did do that towards the beginning of our relationship. But, yeah, I mean, I'd be like... Um, I'm chilling. Like, you don't got to be, you know, checking up on me all the time, but I would definitely do it to him. So some of the things that I mentioned in this list, I mean, I'm definitely guilty of. Um, and I, you know, I do think there's certain things that I may have done in the past, in past relationships that I was able to get away with because I'm a woman. But if, you know, the guy had done it, it would definitely would have been a problem and I definitely would have been upset and mad about it so that was it for this video guys let me know your thoughts down below do you agree with any of these double standards are there any additional double standards um you guys can think of leave them down below um if you have any video suggestions definitely let me know it can literally be about anything as y'all can see i talk about everything on this channel so yeah let me know and i'll see you all in the next video bye